I don't know if, if this is all we're going to get is to these things or if we can fi also find other interesting, more useful things. What? An asteroid larva? Uh, are you going to do something with me? To me? At me? Alright, you know we got to try and shoot him in the eye at least, right? I mean, because that's what you do when you come across a, a floating asteroid larva thing with a big yellow eye. You shoot him right in the eye. Welcome back to No Man's Sky, ladies and gentlemen. I just found an S-Class freighter. Wow. Check it out. Um, boy, I tell you what. It's tempting to, to maybe keep this thing. Uh, it still has a lot. Of, excuse me. It still has a lot of slots that we'd have to... We'd have to get for it though. Um, my computer is like really tanked out here too. Here, let's do the compare. I had to tab out and look to see how to swap multi tools because I grabbed that extra multi tool. Uh, trading price on this is 9.8 mil. Um, oh no, that's that's my that's my ship. Uh, this is 22.5 million. Wow. 
Uh, well, we're definitely claiming it for sure, so let's do that. Yep, our first S-Class ship that we found. Fantastic. Okay. Um, if I tap back out and then back in, will it will I get my frames back? Mm, not really. It's pretty framey. Okay, so what we're going to do then is... Uh, let's just go back up to our freighter. And then we can just summon this ship up to the freighter. Yeah, my frames are kind of in bad shape. I've got the freighter parked right over by the space station, too. Uh, this will be the third salvage ship that I've turned in. Um, the other two I probably will show you in a montage at the beginning of the video. Uh, but the second one that I turned in, I didn't get a, an upgrade uh, thingy, so hopefully we'll get an upgrade thingy from this one. Okay, so if we... Um, oh, I, I was attacked by some pirates and I got this. What does it give us? A pulse engine module? Okay. We'll have to... Um, here, you know what? Let me... Um, let me so summon our other ship back here, and then I gotta restart because my frames are just terrible. So we wanna go here, 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 and summon Anvil of the Void. There. Oh, it looks like it swapped it out for the for our fighter. Uh, that's all right. We can call the fighter back here later. Okay, let me relog. I'll be right back, and then we'll we'll work with this. Okay, guys, I'm back, and I got my frames back. Um, so I guess I'm just debating whether or not we want to actually keep this. Um, wait, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's look at it again. I mean, you know, it honestly wouldn't be that big of a deal to fix all this stuff, and I might even have everything I already need to fix it. I just, the only thing I don't like about it is, I, it, I wished it had more slots. It's quite a few slots missing, and that's gonna be substantial to, um, you know, to, to fix all that. That's a, that's a decent shield there. That one isn't. We might actually save this. So let's um how come you're not giving me the option to put that in my inventory? Store technology. Choose slot to package. Oh, it doesn't let me pull this out. Oh, yeah, I guess I could do it that way. Hmm, that's weird. Okay, so That's not worth messing with, so we'll just get the stuff from it. And it doesn't look like there's anything else we can break down. So we're, we're gonna... I have no way to, to teleport from my freighter to another place um, until we can get the, you know, the, the teleporter thingy, so... I just have to repair this and then fly it over to the station, which is why I'm so close to the station. Uh, we need to make ourselves a hermetic seal. And fortunately, the, the launch thrusters are already uh, in good shape. So I'm gonna actually temporarily put this stuff in the freighter because I have a feeling we might get a, a bunch of modules here. So I just wanna make sure I have plenty of room in my inventory. Okay, so let's fly this over to the station. Yeah, I'd uh, I'd consider keeping this if it had more slots, but it's just there's too many slots missing. Um, you know, and it's there's nothing else super special about it in terms of the way that it looks. So we're just gonna sell it and get a bunch of money and some cool stuff, and hopefully some more. 
upgrade module thingies for our existing ship. Oh, I went to the wrong side as usual. what we get here. 4.8 million. Okay. Alright, let's run over here and sell the stuff that we got from it. Make a cool 4.8 million dollar make you holla. Okay, so we want to sell compressed indium scraps, subatomic regulators, recycled circuitry. Oh, good, we got a storage augmentation. Perfect. And a spool of nanocubes. Nice. Okay. Uh, so we are now up to 21.5 million. I think that's the most money we've had to date at one time in this playthrough. I did do the the grind to a billion in my 2019 playthrough. Uh, selling, you know, flipper wiring looms and doing all that. But I think, you know, probably the very first thing we will upgrade on the freighter is a teleport room. Uh, because then all I'd have to do is teleport from here to the station and the ship would follow me. Okay, now, I think what we need to do is... I think we have to summon our other fighter back to us now. Uh, is, wait, is this our fighter? Yeah, it is. Okay, it came back. So we'll once again make this the new ship. Okay, let's take this over to the station and get the augmentation slot. Okay. So let's put this slot here. All right. So we now can uh, put stuff together there. And later on, we'll... Wait, can we add more stuff to these slots later on? Maybe we can't. Uh, because it doesn't show like these little brackets like it does down here. Maybe that's as much it, as big as it's going to get on this little ship. Okay. Well, if that's the way it is, that's the way it is. We still have some more slots to unlock for cargo too. Very cool. All right. So the plan for this episode is to go to a green star system. But we will do that. Probably for me, sometime tomorrow in real life. But for you, it's only going to be a couple seconds. Because I got to go to bed. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, guys, I am back. It's the next day for me in real life. Um, and so let's see, what are we going to do? We're going to go to a green star system. Um, we're going to possibly, if we have enough time, try out one of these anomaly detector doohickeys. And I am also going to build a fleet commander. And the reason I'm building this is because we can get our, um, our dude. We have one frigate and we can get him out exploring. So I guess that's him. Um, oh, we need to make some fuel, freighter fuel, I think, to do this. Exploration. Okay. So, to make freighter fuel, um, what do we need to do that? Freighter fuel. Oh, um, do I not know how to do that? Hydrothermal fuel cell. Is that something we have to learn? Let's go take a look see.
base parts and upgrades. Oh crap, we need a, a frigate module to learn that. Well, the re what I was going to do is I was going to send them out on a mission because they have a chance of bringing back a, a frigate salvage module. But if they don't have any fuel, I guess I can't do that, right? Let's look again. Maybe... <laughs> excuse me, maybe they come with some fuel to start with? I don't know. One support frigate available. Profile indicates no frigate fuel, uh, frigate fuel blueprints available. Oh! Oh, nice! Okay. That's weird. Why would they lead me to believe... ...that I had, had to spend a frigate module on that when I was just able to do it there? That seems a little bit weird. All right, um, let's just make that much. <laughs> okay, so now if we go to the fleet command station, no expedition to sign standing by. Fleet command standing by. Oh, I think, did we talk to this guy? No, I guess we don't talk to him. I think we have to talk to the guy out here. Okay. There is a fresh glory available for the fleet. I have charted new expedition routes. Prepare for triumph. View potential expeditions. Okay. So, um, a balanced expedition. How do I know what this does, though? Advancing into the ether. Voyage of Discovery. Agate's beautiful departure. I don't know what these do. So, let's start... This That has a two-star rating. I'm not sure what that actually means, either. Um, But it's also the shortest one. So let's try it, I guess. Assign ship to expedition. Uh, I don't know what all that stuff means either. Where do I look at the ships that I, the frigates that I have? Uh, my fleet information, I guess, is what that would be. Is that what this is? Freighter warp map. Yeah, manage fleet. Okay. Alright, so this is... We have a thief on board. Oh, we can go... Oh, look at that! We can go on board it. Oh, how about that? Cool. Okay. Um, what does this do? Frigate teleport terminus. Does that just take us back to the the freighter I want to find this thief that's on board and uh, kick his ass off of here what does this do doesn't seem to do anything hydroponics bay this is like a maze I just barely remember messing with these last time I played, but I never really got very far with it, I guess. Where does this go? Alright, 
Well, anyway, let's go back here. Manage fleet. Uh, so this is a science vessel, and I guess the red dots are negatives, obviously. And the white dots are positives for the ship. So this is obviously an exploration ship. It's gone out on 14 expeditions. It's been damaged six times. The crew mood is dutiful. It has a lax dress code. A lax dress code? We can't have that. Uh, it needs 149 sex successful encounters to get the next rank. Oh my goodness, that's a lot. Okay, so... Um... Is, how do you deal with, like, the thief on board? Is there a way to deal with it, or are you just kind of stuck with it? Not really sure. Anyway, let's go back to here. Actually, hold on. I want to look at one other thing. Exploration. So it kind of tells me all that stuff there, too. Okay. All right. Well, let's go to you. And we're going to send it on this two-star mission, because it's the shortest one. <laughs> um, assigned ship. Okay, ship's assigned. And does it just... Oh, there's upgrade modules. Oh, look at that. Mind control device? This lasts for one expedition. The mind control device plugs in the ship's trading communications systems, allowing the fleet commander to gain the upper hand in any negotiation. <laughs> That's terrible. I love it. Um, a temporary frigate up. This uh, powerful analytic computer overclocks the existing fleet, for allowing for faster than light calculations. Heat is a problem. The chips do not last long. Mineral compressor. Faster processing, easier transportation. Explosives have been programmed to launch from the fleet and pilot themselves directly towards hostile vessels. Extremely dangerous. Powerful fuel upgrade overloads frigate engines allowing for faster than usual travel. Um, but a, I guess we don't know these yet, so we can't we can't do that. Okay, so is it just gonna pull the fuel out of my inventory? Okay, I guess. I guess it did, because I don't see it in my inventory anymore. Huh. Okay. Plan and dispatch expeditions. So he doesn't... Oh, that's right. We have to build more fleet command rooms. We have, have to have one fleet command room per expedition. Okay, so this is on the mission now. Is there a way that I can check up on how it's doing? Why does it say it's awaiting orders? Uh, on mission, but why would it be awaiting orders? I don't understand that. Okay. If we go back to here... What if we talk to this guy? Oh, wait, it says he's on the mission, but he's standing right here. How does that work? Does he run it remotely? Fleet command online. Calibrating fleet commander augs. Speak with commander abort expedition. Greetings, interloper captain. The cat expedition has covered 198 light years, and I estimate a plot route will take further 45 minutes. All systems are nominal. Inspect ships. Okay. It's not really telling me anything that I didn't already see before. Okay. Well, I guess we just let that continue, and then when it's done, we it's supposed to do something for us, right? Bring back money or loot or something. And 
hopefully maybe a, a salvage a frigate salvage module uh, because I want that in order to unlock the teleporter which is here yeah teleporter that's the first thing I want to unlock so that way we can just teleport directly from the freighter to the station or wherever we want to go especially you know when we're still salvaging ships oh speaking of which uh, you guys told me in the comments that yeah you know, I guess I don't have any left but if you pop um if you pop the um, distress signals yeah sorry I couldn't think of what they were the emergency things and you get like the building and you get whatever else they pop up you pop those and you, and you leave them up there and then the next time you pop it it'll it'll be something different until all that's left is the distress signals and then you just do the distress signals and it'll keep coming up with a new one which is really cool so I might I might actually employ that at some point all right well anyway um that was a little bit of a sidetrack but hey we're having fun and that's the important thing you got anything to to say to us Admiral Nagia freight the freighter's master stands at ease awaiting my instructions transference from ship to freighter what why do I have to talk to him to do that oh it did it did put the fuel in there okay um let's pull these things out I guess I had some more frigate fuel in there and we'll put them back in here I'm I'm starting to run out of space again I'm gonna have to come up with even more storage oh that went in my starship didn't it okay here and we want to move that into there I've got a whole bunch of modules that I got to do something with some of them aren't, aren't really all that great either I'm not even sure why I'm hanging on to them to be honest with you but they're kind of fun to collect I suppose okay let's put those guys in there yeah this thing is jam-packed crazy okay so what are we doing we're gonna go to a green star system that's what we're gonna do and also, there's a couple things I wanted to show you. Let's get down by our ship here, which is somewhere. I don't even know where. There it is, right there. I'm gonna hop in and then back out for a save point. All right. Um. So right now we have a hyperdrive range of 151.8. If I take the economy scanner off and put this hyperdrive module, watch what happens. 151.8, 520.6. It increases it. Hugely increases it. Um, so, yeah. what You know, this is not something we have to have on all the time. We can put it on when we want to find a three-star system or if we want to try and scan for an outpost. But otherwise, it's not something we have to keep on all the time. Um, and likewise, we don't have to keep this on all the time either in, until we're actually jumping. So it's pretty cool that we did that. The other thing that I did too is I took this supercharged fuel pipes um, that we got from that last ship that we cashed in yesterday. Well, yesterday for me. Um, and I put that, right now we have 657, but if, you put, if we put this in here, it increases our maneuverability all the way up to 815. So that's a really nice little bonus there as well. Uh, I built the efficient thrusters again from the blueprint. There's no point in putting the the recharger thing on there because our sails already recharge uh, the launch thruster. Uh, but now we have 20% less launch cost on that. And I think that's pretty much all I've done to, to upgrade um, our ship up to this point. Let's go ahead and top off our pulse engines there. And we'll, ju we'll just keep this with us and equip it when we need to use it. 
All right, very cool. Let's take off. Whoa, we just crashed into that guy. All right, so I want to gravy. It always sounds like there's explosions going on when those guys come in. Um, what I want to do is, um, you know what? Let let's let's try one of these out first. Oh, what's going on? Incoming message. Interloper, are you seeking glory for your fleet? Permit us to bolster your ranks. Is he asking to be hired? Gra gra gra. Crew to your stations. He's a combat specialist. Oh, okay. So we can, we can, we can hire him, and to be a part of. Ah, oh, that's cool. Except for it's just a class C. It, it's <laughs> it's a spider infested ship. Uh, plus 15 combat. Okay. No, I, I mean, oh, we'll get into that, but I, I, I'm i not ready to, to really get serious about that, the frigate stuff yet. We, or I mean the freighter stuff with the frigates. Uh, I do in, intend to do that, but I'm just not interested right at the moment. Okay, so... Um, let's go ahead and pop one of these and see what happens. Search for a rare deep space object. Object is searching for its host. I've never used these before. I don't know what they do. Incoming message. What? Are you the same dude? I don't know. I'm not interested. Go away. Anomaly detector... Activated something or other. What, what does it say? Act oh, activate pulse drive. Gotcha. Okay. If we're lucky, we'll find a derelict freighter, and then that's where we can get the salvage frigate modules. Detecting near exit pulse to examine. Emergency civilization shelter pod. I have no idea what that is. Coming message. Homeworld. Something but something. Me mission. Clean nano catastrophe. Systems nominal. Day since contact 82,398. Surviving population 83,000 in communication. So they're saying nano catastrophe? Like nanites took over or something? What is. Is this like an ARC ship or something? Okay, I just checked on the wiki and on Reddit, and apparently these, you can't do anything with them. You just run into them, and it's a, a civilization uh, or that's, in this particular case, fleeing a nano-catastrophe, I guess, on their home world. And apparently there's people in, in cryogenic stasis inside of here, but there isn't anything we can do with them. Um, one commenter said that they might be expanded upon in, in future updates to, so that we can interact with them or something, but apparently there's nothing I can do with it. So, all right, there you go. <laughs> that was a waste of time. I mean, it was kind of, kind of fun to discover it, I suppose, but... All right, you know what? Um, let's just... Let's try these next ones. I don't know if, if this is all we're going to get is to these things or if we can fi also find other interesting, more useful things. What? An asteroid larva? Uh, are you going to do something with me? To me? At me? What in the world? It's 
a big eye. I'm gonna, f I'm gonna fly right into your eye, dude. <laughs> okay. I saw something kind of similar to this under the water. And uh, that's where I got that eyeball thingy. He's, he's got a thruster. How bizarre, man. Oh, he's angry. Um, are we supposed to, like, kill him? I don't know. I'm kind of thinking maybe we better get out of here. <laughs> We're taking damage. We're taking shield damage. He didn't like getting shot in the butt. We probably need to shoot him in the eye if we're going to shoot him at all, right? Can I, um... Oh, get out of here, Sentinels. Can I get some shields back by attacking this guy? No, he's just causing us damage. Alright, you know we got to try and shoot him in the eye at least, right? I mean, because that's what you do when you come across a, a floating asteroid larva thing with a big yellow eye. You shoot him right in the eye. This is going to hurt you more than it's going to hurt me. Whoa. It doesn't... It's not doing any damage to him. All it's doing is when I when I shoot him, I'm I'm just seeing zeros for damage markers. Yeah, see it just says zero. But he's doing damage to us. Do we gotta shoot his little things on the side? Oh, he's angry now. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> okay. So Again, I'm guessing just another kind of novelty thing that doesn't really have any practical use for us, as far as I can tell. Uh, okay, fair enough. Let's just try the last one, see what happens. Pirate-controlled monitoring station. if we shoot it, pirates will come, right? Oh! We got three standing with the Viking for that. Wow. Okay, at least we got something practical and useful from that one. our shields. Okay, so that was useful because we got some serious rep with the Viking. Like five in total. But the the floating larva thing and the and the other thing was like, okay, can't do anything with that. All right, well, that takes care of those things. <laughs> um, let's go ahead now and go into our galaxy map. And we need to find ourselves a green star. And I, is that a green star? I think it is, yeah. Okay, select targeted system. 
and warp. So, is it indium that we have to find to make? No, we I think we have to find emerald to make the indium drive, or something like that. This is an uncharted system. Somebody else had already discovered it, though. Yeah, that's got emerald and ammonia. We don't have any ammonia. We might want to grab some of that just so we can we have it. Let's also check out this planet here. Activated emerald. Okay, maybe we'll grab some of that too just so we have it. And then it said there were three planets in this system. There's the other one. Okay. That's just got emerald and paraffinium. Okay, so this planet here is going to be toxic, but it's got ammonia as well as emerald. So let's go here, and then we'll go to this other one, and we'll get some active emerald. Oh, no, not that one. This one here. That's going to be a cold planet, too. Okay. All right, let's do this. We'll touch down on the other one just to do the discoveries as well. This is a rotting planet. I bet you it smells great down here. Like we're flying down into a storm too on top of that. No, don't start doing that. Oh, that's a hole in the ground. I thought that was a mineral deposit. land right here either this maybe there isn't a storm going on all right what we're gonna do is we're going to go here and we're going to remove the heat resistance and we're gonna install our toxic protection Okay, now can I also silver and copper, and this is one one of the reasons why we need ammonia right there. Um, I don't think it said there was any copper on this planet, did it? Oh, we have to hop out of the ship. Caustic winds. Yes, we are definitely taking um, toxic damage. Oh, there is a storm going on. Okay. All right, well, let's wait for that to finish then. Yeah, there's no copper here. So we won't be able to, to build the toxic protection thingy right now, but we will at least get the ammonia uh, so we can do it. There's only four critters on this planet, huh? Interesting. Well, we saw uh, so, some of them flying up in the sky. In fact, there goes one right there. Butterfly looking thingies. Two hundred twelve thousand bucks for those guys. And we got these guys. 
212,000 bucks for them. Oh, and we got these guys. Okay, that's three out of four. Any more red dots around? Okay, let's scan a few more things because we get bank for doing that. Okay. Uh, what does it take to charge this? Ammonia or ion batteries? Okay, we got lots of ion batteries. Right? Don't we? We have 17. Yeah, we're in good shape. Okay. Alright, let's look for some ammonia and some emerald. Subterranean organic structure. Emerald deposit right there. Um, let's go ahead and just fly over there because these will recharge. That way we'll have our ship to shelter in. Not that this was that far away, but... This looks like a, a small one. There's a... A new kind of plant over here too. What is this? Jade peas. Cool. All right. Uh, we have another type of plant too that we have to uh, go, go back to our base at some point and, and put in the cooker to see what it is. Oh, right there. There's the fourth animal. Nice. Okay, so we should have gotten all of the fauna out of here. Wait a minute. How do I get back out of here? There we go. Yep. Four out of four. Thousand nanite bonus, baby. Woot! Okay. Cool. Okay, let's get some emerald here. And we have a journey milestone. Discovered all three species on three planets. No, all species on three planets. Nice. So we'll get um we'll get at least a full stack of emerald. I want to get at least a full stack of emerald, ammonia, ammonia, and activated emerald. Okay, we don't quite have a full stack there. So let's look for another uh, another deposit. There's an ammonia. There's another emerald and another ammonia and a cobalt. Let's go to that one there. Forty thousand bucks just to scan a stupid Venus flytrap plant. I love it. Okay, where's that sentinel at? He's way over there. Okay. What I'm gonna do is come up here. Look at all that carbon. Oh my goodness. Go away, stupid sentinel. Um, bugger off. Okay. Okay. Where's our ship? Back this way. Okay, let's get this. Okay, so we have a full stack of emerald and then a little bit more. That's great. 
next we want to get um, some ammonia. So, where's the closest one? That's more emerald. There's an ammonia, 384. 179, that one's closest. Okay, let's go do that one. Okay, so we have a little over a full stack of pneumonia. Good to go there. And uh, I think that's all we're really gonna do on this planet. So let's head back up to the stars. And we wanna go to the planet that has the activated emerald. Got this one here. No, we might, let's land on this one though anyways, just so we can get credit for it. The nest, it says. Nest of what? Wow. Huge water. Ocean area. There we go. Wadactus. There's one. Quadhort Yosa. What about down in the water? A submerged relic. Alluring specimen. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything red down in the water as far as critters go. Do we have to actually go down into the water to see that? Yeah, there's something. Discatus. Discatus. Okay, we might as well scan a couple things underwater. Make a little bit more bank before we take off. This is a pretty deep ocean here, at least in this one spot. Okay, I think we're done here for now. Just out of curiosity, we got five of the fauna. All right, cool, cool. All right, let's head to the other planet where we can get the active indium. You don't say, huh? I don't even bother answering these guys. I just blow them up. Okay, so I think it's is it that planet we want to go to, or this one? Easy, lemon squeezy. Uh, what did we get here? Another one of those things. Okay, I got one, one of those from before too. Okay, I think it's uh, yeah, activated emerald. So this is the planet we want to go to. Journey milestone. We are a legend. Uh, we've destroyed 80 starships. 
fantastic. This is a hemal planet. I have no idea what that means. Other than it's cold. Because it has frost crystals. Um, so that means we actually want to change... change anything. We already got our two frost thingies on. We took the heat thing off, but we don't need that. Wow, this thing's a long ways away. Again? Alright, let's mix it up. There must be a storm going on. Unfortunately, we don't get rep from killing these guys in this system because it's not owned by anybody. Ah, that's alright. Can we get any more loot skis? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Oh, come on, man. Really? Okay, well, let's, um, we're going to have to pulse drive to a different spot on this planet because we're obviously over another ocean here. Oh, I think that's land over that way. It's like another mountainous planet. Crazy man. Rugged. Okay, let's land in this little valley of sorts. That might be what we're looking for right there. Um, that green mineral. Hazardous whiteouts. Okay, let's grab some of this. Some of this. Extreme hazard okay, is that what's this? Activated emerald, yep, that's what we want. So We should be okay to recharge long enough to get a, a stack of activated emeralds. These are like conifers. Oh, is it going to get even worse now? Right, where is this emerald at? It's just right here on the mountainside somewhere. There's more critters over there. Um, let's not mess around with life support. Let's just get that charged too. Here we go. All right, before we get started mining this, I saw some more critters up over this way. What is that? Subterranean rail. Oh, there we go. Red dot over here. No, I didn't mean to put that down there. I always accidentally put those things down. So we've discovered three of six fauna. Where are we at with our money? 24.2 million. Nice. It's getting up there. Uh, 
Grab that. Just looking to see if there's any more red dots nearby. Not seeing it. Okay. Let's get this activated emerald. We're going to get a stack of this like we've been doing with other stuff. And we got a milestone. Undaunted survived one souls on Extreme World. We are undaunted, baby. Alright, do we have a full stack of activated emerald? Yeah, we do in a little more. Let's just grab a little more. Uh, we got a storm coming in, so I don't think we want to be out in it when it starts getting really bad. I mean, my goodness, this place is old enough as it is without a storm. Okay, yeah, it's time to go get into shelter. Burr! <laughs> oh, hey! Storm crystals! Storm crystals, storm crystals! Scan those. Nice. Okay. Get back to the ship quick. Very cool. Um. Yeah, so we got two of those. Very nice. Okay. Are there any more, like, really close by? There's one over there. Chili. Okay. Um, okay, there's one down there. That's a little far away for us to be running. We can fly over there. 389, 289. Looks like there's two right next to each other right here. And then the one we marked. Oh, those aren't storm crystals. They're frozen tubers. Okay, well, we'll grab those two. Alright, so how many do we have now? Four. And I have one back uh, in storage, too, so we have a total of five of those now. All right. Well, guys, uh, I think we're going to wrap up this episode here. So let's see. Off camera, I'm probably going to go take the rest of the nav data that I have and buy some more of those emergency charts and keep looking for some more scrap ships uh, just to build my money up a little bit more and hopefully get... We need a few more slots on the starship. We need one, two, three, four, five. Five. We need five more of the expansion module thingamadoodles uh, to, to fully unlock all of our cargo on the ship. Um, so I'll probably work on that off camera. And then I think what we're going to do in the, in the next episode is we're going to we're gonna get back on task with the, um, the Artemis quest line. Uh, I think that's what we'll do in the next episode. And um, I am also, uh, and we also want to continue looking for, and this planet is so rugged, look at this, salvage frigates so we can start, you know, working on upgrading our freighter. Very cool though, both liter literally and figuratively. these valleys here with these steep mountains so cool all right you guys well thanks to everybody for watching i hope you enjoyed this episode and if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment and share the video and we'll catch y'all in the next episode bye, -bye.